Since Sid's actually going back home to Mallorca, we're gonna do Christmas a bit early. So we have all our presents here, I'm not gonna record it because it's kind of cringy, but we're gonna go over the presents after we open them. So technically today is Christmas for me. So to compare our wrapping job, this is Sid's and this is mine. Not the best wrapper. Do you want to go through your presents first? We only got, oh, I got her more, but this didn't come in time. So I'll give them. Okay, first we have Wait. our Stitch. He's very cute. I love him. And then we have our Aesop perfume that I've been asking for because I love it and it smells so good. So this is a really good scent for a girl. I think this is the new one that they just launched. So if you're looking for a present for your lady, it smells so good. And then the last thing, that he lied about that he said he didn't get me your bikini from a few vlogs ago. And then you know it, it's so cute. We almost matched each other's color yeah. with our big gifts. First present Sid got me was this little patch. A little Celebi patch. I think I'm gonna put it on a pair of sweatpants or something. Thank you. She got me this as well, which we're gonna open, see if we get the Charizard, the $500 Charizard. And when she wrapped her presents, they were just, they were sitting on the chair over there and I saw the size and I was like, is it a Champion's Path box? And she started doing this like really like genuine laugh and I was like, wow, that laugh is because it's true. She was like dying of laughter and she's like, it's not true. And I somehow believed her. It's not her. So technically you could have got me something that's $500 too. It's all about monetary value. Jokes. And then my favorite present that she got me. What, who, what is this from again? It's a girl, right? Girl's hoodie? Yeah, Olivia Kim Nike hoodie. Little sparkle mini swoosh. They make it in black too. I think Kai has it in black. And it has it in pink. Thank you. So we just opened the Pokemon box. I actually made a TikTok out of it. So I'm going to show you. You can follow my TikTok if you want to see our reaction, but... <gasps> I said that this box was a sign. And it, we're going to pull the Charizard because it's from her Christmas gift. And... I'm gonna go get it graded. Follow my TikTok. That's my username if you want to see the reaction. I bought those hard! And when I, I was opening the box, I was like, there's just no way we're not getting it. Because I've seen so many open. I think the odds are so, like, one in 300 packs or something. So I'm just packing now. Why don't you get out of there? I swear to God. Are you peeing in there? No. So I'm just packing now. I'm moving to LA. Live with my brothers and my dad for a bit. I think you guys would like to see what, I'm, what I packed. So I'm do a little sit down, show you what I pack quickly before I go. Yeah, I'm gonna run through everything very quickly. A couple, I just bought a lot of shorts because apparently my brothers and stuff like to hike. My brothers and my dad have been hiking every day for like an hour. So, a lot of shorts. You guys know these shorts wore them like in every vlog when I was in here. Wow, I didn't even take this in. I have these ice cream shorts and look how fudged they are from putting them in the wash. Funny story about these, I got them from the store. It's like a pop-up in LA, I forget where it was, and I bought them and they were too small. First of all, I go in the store, they're like, there's no change rooms. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll take these because I held them up to me and like they looked like they fit. I thought they were like super big. And I got a medium, which is still dumb of me. It's just my fault. I come back like an hour later or whatever. These were actually too small for me. Could I just exchange the size, not even return? Like we don't do that. And they were just so rude and classic like Supreme type workers that think they're like God working at these like stores when no one cares. This is what Sid got me. For. You got me this for Christmas or for my birthday? Oh, she got me this as a gift for no reason. Like how long? A year ago? Yeah. Long time ago, a year ago. <sighs> Bringing this big Stussy shirt cause it's really comfy. Usually only wear white and black shirts, but I don't know, just bring something different. This Rolling Stones shirt that I stole from Kai. You guys see me wear this a lot. It's all like screen printed too. This vintage Mortal Kombat shirt. Just someone chilling. I'm literally just gonna be chilling in this shirt, which you've seen I've worn on Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, my favorite thing I own, if you guys know, is pants. So you guys know these pants. Capital Patchwork. Fun fact: I used to wear these in front of Sid, and she'd be like, "These are the ugliest jeans I've ever seen." She literally say that. But now she likes them. That is not what I would say. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. I got these Aleks brown. These are worn on our fir my first date with Sid, actually. She just reminded me. And then I got a pair of essential sweats. I just like them because they're really comfy. And I got a pair of Capital jeans. And then I got these jeans that I got in Amsterdam that you guys saw. Kind of cool. Posted a lot of photos in them, I think, actually. Of course, I'm bringing Sid's. Christmas gift hoodie with me. And then I have just another old Nike hoodie that I'm bringing with me. It's gonna be like chilling and playing video games with Kai, so. And I'm gonna steal his clothes too, so I'm not packing too much. All right, and I gotta deliver Kai a special package as well, which I'll keep hidden, but you guys probably know what it is. These are my sort of updated essentials. Only thing that's changed really is some face cream Sid bought me, not gonna act like I know what it is. And I use this to scrub my body in the shower. And I use this to spray like these little bumps on the back of my arms. 
This is like my facial cleanser. I'll check out these shoes they just got off Essence. So the CDG mids are, I think they're, yeah, pretty cool. They're pretty expensive for Air Force, so that's why I think they're sort of sitting, they're like deconstructed and just patched on. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's, they're cool for a girl. What's up, man? It's Hollywood Fix over here. I thought Bobo would be bigger. Hollywood Fix, what's up, buddy? How's the TikTok hair going? How's Addison? I have a long story about why my flight was an hour late. It involves a guy getting kicked off, and I have footage of it all. I'm gonna tell the story probably tomorrow. Just get settled. Go! Yeah, you should get. Bobo, So this is just live reality. Is it right here? Yeah. Iron Chef Dad reacts to the Dior ones. <laughs> <laughs> Title. Wow. That's, that's, that's Dior, right? How would Hold you it up, that? Oh. <laughs> That's some nice shoes. See the setup, my guy? Which PC is mine? Why does mine look better? I have a uh, mouse keyboard. I want to go and visit Levi. I like, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Wow, all the dogs are welcoming. You can stand pretty long, huh? I know, like a handstand. Really? Mm-hmm. You like this one too? No, I'm gonna try made banana bread and give you guys a little tour. This is like the living room. Nice big couch. It's actually like really cold right now. There's the pool. This is the front door. And this is how you get to my room. So this is my room. This is the room Zach was actually staying in before Zach left. Didn't bring too many clothes, as you guys know. I've been shipping all my cards here, because so I didn't want to pay duties in Canada. Maybe I could just like break them down for you guys if you want to see them, and maybe I'll do it in a different video. But I have a bunch of cards here. If you guys want me to buy your Pokemon cards, you can just DM me on Instagram, and I'll probably reply. Let's go wake up Kai. <laughs> Kai was using his vape thing. Now? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. First thing in the morning? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How did you make this, Dad? Yesterday. Mm -hmm. I like the walnut. Is this everything you're actually giving away? This is everything in Kai's giveaway. Lately, one's Sean Witherspoon's P rods. Wave Runners. 97s. Mars Yards. Dior's. These are 90s, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna total up everything right here and see how much the giveaway is worth as per StockX. Lately ones, oh, 1,600. On other spoons, 1,374. Uh, P-Rods says 3,000, but it's definitely not worth that. It's just someone asking for crazy. We'll go with 637. Go Wave Runner, 692. Um, we'll save the big guys for last. Off white, 97. Uh, 1,150. Holy When I bought these for Levi for his Christmas present, they were like 600 bucks. Off white, 90. Damn, these are a lot. Yeah, they're part of the original tent, right? Yeah. yeah so 1,500. Let's get the big boys out of the way. Mars Yards. 4K. 4K? Yeah. So the last sale of these is 42.50. Plus the Dior's 10k? The Dior's are going for about anywhere from like 8 to 10k US, but we got hooked up, so go with 8. Wow, that, I didn't actually know that this is, the value of this is that crazy. Plus 8,000 equals... $20, guys. How much is it? So you could spend 20 bucks, and you could buy multiple tickets even, and double your chances of the tickets being sold. Uh, tickets are going to be sold... Friday. Do your videos come out on Sunday, uh -oh. don't they? Once the giveaway announced, it will. Sunday! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, can you put out this video today? <laughs> like, no. Well, I guess I'll just show who won it. What's the first homemade meal of the trip? Mm. Is that true? What is it? Uh, asparagus, risotto, minestrone. What is it? Miso carrots. What about this? Bok Come on, Levi! Bok choy? Mm hmm. What's the difference between white and black truffle? Well, white is, well, one one is white and one is black. Mm hmm. Mm. Why isn't Kai eating with us? I know I haven't told the story about the guy who got kicked off my plane yet, but I'm gonna tell it at the end of the video. I just haven't had the time to sit down. And... Okay. Dad, where are we going? We are going to the market, son. <laughs> Dad, we got a video game thing. Uh, can you hurry up? Are you serious? Why don't you guys go and then I'll come and talk to you? Dad, Boba, you want a treat? Electronic treat. 
and then it dispenses it. <laughs> and he eats them. Dad, why did you vote for Trump? Yeah. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop and bullshit. Dad, what? What time's the Trump rally? Just fuck off. <laughs> Why'd you vote for Trump? I don't know. Hi, stop. Kai's making a TikTok out of that so you can see it on his TikTok. What's the what's the dinner meal? A flank steak from uh, a pork with a sambal chili sauce. Potatoes, what else? Artichokes? Is that it? Broccolini. What's a sambal chili sauce? Sambal is uh, Indonesian. You can't you made it or you bought it? I made it. What's this then? I fixed it, I mixed like shallot lemongrass. It's just a chili. But the sauce you turned into sambal is here. Did I catch you guilty? Also shout out to uh, Brandon. He's uh, the manager for the guy that runs the page hit in New York who like also drops clothes now. You guys probably you know seen the socks. He gave me these BBC collab. Before I end the video, I want to tell the story about how the guy got kicked off my plane and show you guys the video footage. It all starts. I'm waiting like just like by the gate. Everyone's sitting kind of apart from each other because of the rules and everything. And the guy sitting next to me, I don't think anything. I just think he's like weird. He's like listening to videos so loud and he's just being weird. Not to the point where I'm like uncomfortable just playing videos so loud and had headphones in, but it seemed like he was like talking to random people sort of, but I just ignored it so whatever. So I'm just chilling in the lounge. Then we go to board the plane. He's actually in front of me because we were sitting close and he's walking down sort of like the tunnel when you board the plane and I round the corner and I see him. I see him sort of just like looking, looking at a door and then there's a girl there. I think his mask is like below his nose too. And there's a girl there and she's like, yeah, so you just keep going that way. And he was like, yeah, okay. And he just kept going. So we get on the plane. Five minutes goes by. People are getting on the plane, and his mask is off. And then the, the like head cabin guy goes up to him. He's like, "Sir, could you put your mask on, please?" And he's like, "Yeah." Sort of giving attitude and asking. He's asking like, "Why?" And stuff. Yeah, so the first time he just tells him like, "Put it back. Put it on, please." He walks away. In between this point, he, I see him go on Instagram live. He's like speaking. I think it's Russian, and he's speaking in Russian, like sort of showing everyone. I think he's sort of showing that everyone's wearing masks. Sort of like ridiculing it. I guess so it was like the vibe I got, even though he wasn't speaking English. Guy comes by again and the mask is below his nose and he's like sir put your mask over your nose like i won't say it again and then he does it one more time i think with his nose exposed and the guy goes up to him and like starts saying this would you like to take your things and come with me oh, sir. sir can you take your things and come with me i can just move home with you just go on with sir you. Just go three times i've asked you you've been on board the aircraft for 10 minutes I'm, I'm sorry but this is not optional i'm not going to argue with you all flights sir sir i'm not going to take my mask out Yes, you've brushed me off three times now. Sorry. Yes, of course, Sorry. what else would I do? Sorry. I, I, I give you my word, it's done deal. It's my man, manly word. At this point, we've been on the plane for like 10 minutes and then we start leaving the gate. So I'm like, okay, he's not going to get kicked off the plane. We're just going to take off. And then the the female stewardess walks up to him. I can't hear what they're saying. They're just being too quiet. But I hear him be like, show me the rules then and like sort of being rude again and the girl walks away and then I see the the crew going in into the cockpit and like I'm just like thinking like I've never really seen that before a flight. We expect you to, to behave in a reasonable manner so that everyone's comfort is, is are you asking me sir or are you trying to talk while I'm talking? We expect you to behave in a manner so that everyone else's comfort is assured so the noises should be personal. So you should be wearing your phones. We're still moving and I'm like, hey, we have to be going. The captain gets on the mic and he's like, hey, gentlemen, the uh, captain here, just ask everybody to please remain seated. We've had uh, an incident, we just need to have uh, assistance to uh, help us out. Just again, for everybody, please remain seated. Thank you very much. We'll have you on your way to Los Angeles shortly. I noticed we're like almost at a gate, but at this point it's like 25, like 30 minutes later. And then we go to hook up to the thing. I'm like, okay, for sure he's getting kicked off. The gate, like thing that goes up to the door so you can walk across goes to that door and it's just like there and it's not making it there so i was like what the hell is happening is he getting kicked off or like is there a mechanical issue and they move it to the front of the plane and then two policemen come on and i'll show what happens then how you doing sir yes, sir. yes. well i guess there was an issue on the plane so, so regardless the captain walks down the plane so you're gonna have to leave okay so if you want to grab the baggage in the overhead for that or uh, it's, sorry, it's not up to me it's up to the captain of the plane he's charged with that so if you're like over the baggage it's charged with and yeah, the policeman handled it really well, like politely. He just asked him to leave. Pretty much said like, you have to leave regardless. So just come and don't make a scene. And he didn't really make a scene, but he was like, please, uh, 
won't happen again, but by that time, if the police are already on board, you're getting kicked off, so. He delayed our flight, like, almost, like, an 45 minutes, I'd say, and then didn't even get to fly. Super thick Russian accent, and, like, sounded kind of, like, badass. So I wasn't sure if he was, like, an anti-masker, or he was just trying to not follow rules, but, yeah, he was definitely weird. So, yeah, I got kicked off my flight, and I'm, now I'm here. I wanted to tell that short little story before the vlog ended. Thank you for watching. Gonna post a lot more videos here, and, yeah. See you next Sunday, for sure.